So to continue straight on from the video explaining thrombogenesis and platelet aggregation, you'll remember I said uh, activated platelets will produce thromboxane A2. And they do this via the cyclooxygenase enzyme. So aspirin inhibits this cyclooxygenase enzyme, thus decreasing the amount of thromboxane A2 production and thereby decreasing blood flow and increasing platelet aggregation. Now, clopidogrel and ticlopidine, on the other hand, inhibit ADP binding to its platelet receptor. So, again, remembering back to the first video, I said platelets, on pawn activation, release ADP, which activate the same platelets via their own receptor, so this is autoregulation, and this is the site where clopidogrel and uh, ticlopidine will act. They do this by irreversibly blocking this receptor. Now, you've also got your GP2B3A antagonists. These work here. Remember, the platelets upregulate this receptor, which binds to fibrinogen, which attracts further receptors on other platelets, causing platelet plug. Now, drugs that work here include the apsiximab, a monoclonal antibody, eptifibatide, and tyrofiban. These are all GP2B3A receptor antagonists. These are probably the most commonly used antiplatelet drugs.